First, though, how was your weekend, ladies? Did you have a good one? Where did you go? What did you get up to, Carol McGiffin? <laughs> <laughs> if you can still speak. Do you know what? I had such a fantastic weekend. I was in Liverpool all weekend. <laughs> and we've got some uh, Liverpudlians here today. I mean, I just love that city. I've never really spent any time there, but... Do you know what? There's so many great bars and so much to do. <laughs> and it's, it's just great. I just loved it. But um, the and reason... you can actually remember parts of Liverpool, can you? I can remember all of it, actually. Marvelous. I did very well, yeah. <laughs> I was staying up quite late for me. Um, and the reason I went up there was because um, David Guest invited us up, right? And on Saturday night we had dinner with, um, with David. Did and... you live in Liverpool? No, 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 no. I think he's been made an honorary scouser or something. <laughs> well, that's what he tells you, but you, know, accent, you never know, you know what to believe. <laughs> um, no, he's actually the fundraiser for uh, a charity up there which is trying to uh, raise money to restore the cathedral. So um, we, had this, um, we had dinner on Saturday night with Percy Sledge and oh. Frida Payne oh. and David himself and loads of other lovely people. And last night there was a, a big dinner at the Adelphi Hotel for the charity and also for the Variety Club as well. Um, and Dionne Warwick sang there. Wow. It was absolutely unbelievable. I so it's like, a, you know, it's just a room, everyone's having dinner, and Dionne Warwick's up on the stage singing just for us. It and you fantastic. explained to Mark who she was, did you, and everything? <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, I'll tell you what, Mark is in a time warp when it comes to music. He loves all that stuff, although he does get a little bit confused because Percy Sledge was there, right? Percy Sledge is big... Wait a oh, Sorry. That's it. <laughs> and Mark... That character from Coronation Street that was married to Phyllis Pierce. No, no, he's, he's, a, he's a big singer, this guy. Um, and Mark leans over and he whispers, he says, don't tell anybody this, but I thought that song was a Michael Bolton song. <laughs> oh. well, he did come and it, I, though, said, I said, all right, I won't tell anyone. Sorry, darling, I just told everybody on the yeah. telly. Sorry, but, yeah, no, it was and amazing. It was, um, I had a wonderful time. Good. Well, you looked like you had a good time when yeah, you stumbled you what, in this morning. There were a lot of people there last night, hello, Liverpool, who thought I wasn't going to make it today. Seriously. Yes. And they were like, oh, you're not going to make it in tomorrow, are you? And I'm here. Yes. They, don't know, so they don't know you like we do. No, exactly. It was Mother's, Mothering yes. Sunday, of course. Did you have a nice Mother's Day? I spoiled. did. I did, actually. I, was, I, I think it was the nicest Mother's Day I've ever had. Oh. Ever? Oh. Ever, ever. I'm both ten now. And, uh, yeah, no, I think it's because I just love everything about our new life in the country. And, 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 I, and I got up on Sunday morning and Bo went, get back into bed. <laughs> and I went, why do I have to get back in bed? She's going, I've got to do breakfast in bed, haven't I? That's what you're supposed to do on Mother's Day. So I got back in bed and she made me mushrooms on toast, which... I don't know why, and I never have yeah. mushrooms on toast, but, um, <laughs> so I have my mushrooms on toast and then a nice bit of coffee and some orange juice, and then Paula booked, well, for Bo, a 90-minute massage, which was amazing. Lovely. I went to this organic farm where I live, Aww. and there's, like, a spa and everything there, and I had this Thai girl who, um, rubbed my feet with cream, hot cream, and then put hot oil on them, oh, and then yes. wrapped each foot in a little hot blanket and lifted them up and Did popped them on something and just sense. left me there like oh, that. For that sounds I Did had fairy cakes from my stepson, oh. Cooper, and Oakley, who's only a little baby, so perhaps he put his finger in it a bit. No, it was lovely. And my big boys, my big sons, actually, I got, got cards, which was really nice. And my eldest son didn't come round yesterday because he's on the tour with me in Calendar Girls. So he said, do you mind if I don't come round? Seen I said, enough no, have you. a day yeah. off. <laughs> but, so, son number two had to sit with me and Mr Spain on his own last night, Aww. which I think was a bit boring, to be honest. Aww. Well, you know, he's I'm a bit sure boring. he liked it, really. Well, well I had an interesting one because I had a night out with the girls on Saturday. Thank you, girls. And I was a little bit cloudy with dizzy spells on Sunday morning. <laughs> And Jack came in at half six with my present and cards. So I couldn't really tell him off. And then my special treat from Jack, because Eamon was away, was to take me to the cinema and I had to go and see Alvin and the Chipmunks squeaking. <laughs> yeah, squeaking. Yes. Squeaking oh, with a hangover. Yeah. But, you know, but it was still nice, Mother's Day. Happy yes. Mother's Day, everybody. I hope yes. you had a good one. Now, interesting, we're talking about selective hearing today. Does it really exist? Um, according to scientists, the ability to filter out unwanted noise and conversation is in the brain, not in the ears. Now, the brain kind of zooms in on sound and acts like a radio by tuning into certain noises while it can ignore others. So, do you have selective hearing? Can you, you know, can I well, tune people out if you don't I, want to hear them? I can hear, I've got very good hearing, so I hear everything, which I, is very distracting. But I, I you know I normally don't agree with surveys or any of these things but i have to say there is a survey that says that young men uh have problems hearing anything really well they do <laughs> don't they and i do know this from my sons and actually i think some 
some young men become older men and can hear, and other older men very selectively hear what they want to hear, don't they? I mean, you can see it in their face when you go, could you go to the supermarket? And it goes all sort of like dead. <laughs> and, and then you go, I'm going to tell you now the list. So, and he goes, yes, yes, yes. And then they go away and don't do any of it. No, <laughs> do you know what? It's true. I mean, Mark's 28, and well, I yes. sometimes I have to say to him, are you listening to me? <laughs> Just to make sure, right? Because you say something, and you, you're right. You get this glazed <laughs> look, and I know he's not listening. Then I have to test him. I go, what did I just say? So then he re sometimes he, he repeats it back, or if he's not listening to me, he always repeats everything I've said, like the last few words, like at least pretending to listen. Do you know what I mean? Do you think it just makes me laugh? It's because, like, because Paul knows what I, I repeat myself. I, I say the same things a lot, and the older I get, the more I repeat myself. We and have I, noticed. Yeah. I, do, I do. I tend to go over and over the same point. It takes me ages to get to the point. Now Paul has actually just decided, through many years of practice, just to listen to the last bit. <laughs> Because he knows that eventually I'll get to the to point, that's the relevant bit. Yeah. And I also think selective hearing can be quite useful in a relationship because Paul knows not to respond to certain things because it'll end up in an argument. And I do too, so there are certain things he says that I'll just, if I respond so or join in... But it's I useful as well. You see, I've got quite good selective hearing, which always amazes Eamon, that I could be at a, a party or at dinner or something, <laughs> and he could be down the table, and I'm sitting talking to someone and going, really, how long have you been an accountant? Oh, lovely, yeah. And, and Eamon, I know he's chatting someone up, and I can hear every word. <laughs> and then how it always... Well, well I have got really a... big ear. I've got the Langsford lugs, you see, so they're like radar. They're like... They zone in. And then we get in the car going home, and I go, oh, yes, well, getting very friendly with Miss Old Blondie, weren't you, across the table? <laughs> How did you hear that? Oh, I wish so I, I could can, do yeah, that. Yeah, I, I also do her. this annoying thing that my nan, I got from my nan, which is, I know she's heard me, she goes, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and you say it again and she goes, eh? <laughs> and you know she's heard it and now I do exactly the same thing. I think it's like sort of buying yourself thinking time sometimes. Just eh? Like, I just think <laughs> men just don't bother. They why should no, they think no if I don't listen and I don't hear somebody will do it. Somebody will tell me what to do. Yeah, it yeah. could be quite a mature thing in a relationship though if they decide not to respond. Just sit there and just just let it all wash I over. Think them. It's not no. because they don't hear, it's they just don't listen. I think that's they what just it is. They're just listen. not yeah. listening. Men of Britain, listen! Listen! Yeah. Yes. Listen up! Now then, how do you fancy getting loose with us, Lot? Uh, take a look at our brand new website. It's itv.com forward slash loose women, and uh, you can unleash your inner loose woman. Uh, you can share your comments on the topics of the day and discover what it takes to be a loose woman from our profile pages. You'll never have to miss a moment of the show with our library of catch up videos. There's also so never before seen, or never seen before even, photos and exclusive behind the scenes footage just for you. So go on, log on. It really is the next best thing to sitting right here with us. That's our new website. Don't miss it.